Woo. Good Saturday morning. It is three degrees this morning. And the yard is like a sheet of ice. This mild weather is nice. Because when you walk out the door, it doesn't hit you in the face like a brick wall. But at the same time, it just sure makes things icy. And my shed is keeping up with temperature. I have enough air movement through the shed. I've been able to keep it about, whoa, about one degree, just one degree below the ambient temperature outside, which is good. And I have the air churning in the room to help keep the bees in the boxes. So there's a bunch of bearding going on. But it is to be expected. So I think we're going to be at the end of this mild spell, get some snow come through, and then some cold weather, just to help settle down that shed a bit. We'll take a peek. I've been busy with bits and pieces all over the place. Not really feeling like I'm getting much done, but those bits and pieces need to get done. You know, do a bit over here, but it takes you to travel to get business done over there, and it just kind of burns your day. And then the other piece over there, you got to travel, and just these time draining jobs that need to be done. Not to mention sitting behind my desk. It's that time of year, just kind of bring things to a close. Let's go take a peek at this shed to see how active they are. Oh, seven degrees. So that is not one degree over ambient. It's gonna make for a warm day today. Not seeing too much activity up front. things are pretty quiet. As you can see, I never did get to putting my air ducting through the ceiling. But I haven't really needed to. So that's working just dandy so far. I find the biggest importance is to get airflow through when they need the airflow, just to help stick them in these boxes. Here's a runny hive there. It's my white light. here. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to a little bit cooler weather. It's about 3 degrees outside right now, 7 degrees in the shed here. Fans on full. Might bring another box fan in here just to help circulate the air between the rows. start my annual walking of the aisles and fussing. So we're mostly inside. Now to do a sweep. We go to wheelbarrow full. So the good news is they're alive. the 
windows nicely blocked out. They are full. Eight o'clock in the morning, and the sun is not up yet. Soon to be. Sun's a bit lazy in the winter. Just heading down to the honey house to start the day on some books. As my wife plans to head off to church. Just trying to get caught up in a few things. The endless toll of bookwork needs to get done and yeah, she's just coming up now beautiful morning minus eight and I see the fans have calmed down just a little bit the shed must be a little cooler stick those these to the boxes I think that's it for the mild weather for just the time being. We're going to get a little bit of snow, a little bit of cold. Help things along. Let's have things nicely tucked away. We have sea can full of brood boxes and stuff this this is my old honey house packed full of honey boxes I have three more trailers full of honey boxes I had Carrie go through all the brood equipment so everything's cleaned up sorted and ready for splits next year raring to go and it's good we got this equipment out of the facility to freeze out in this cold weather wax moth it's just lingering in these boxes so the cold weather takes care of all that good to leave this out the frost like this but I wanted to give it a charge that on for the day I should charge this up It'll last me for most of the winter ah. that Sun is still not up eight o'clock to five o'clock
This place is quite casual now. We're just down to basic repair. Going through all my bottom board pallets, ripping off the rot. The way I do things is quite hard on the equipment. So we like to keep them in good operating condition. It's just tough. This continual, we don't put a lot of money into it when we repair them up. So they're just about at the end of their lives. Whatever we can salvage to make use, we keep it in. Anything else gets burnt replaced with new. It all costs money. The excluders are cleaned up and they're done. It's a good job done. And we're finishing off with the wax. Quite the messy job. Just dealing with scraps right now. As soon as the scraps are done, we'll clean that up. And then we're on to cleaning up this first time through wax. Making sale already. That's sold. Most of that is sold. I have to get everything packaged up and out. And then that, half of that is sold. So once we get that cleaned up and pretty, we will get that out and it'll leave me just with a little bit to pedal off here. So that's good. Another job done. More money in the bank. Four degrees. Tucked him into the boxes quite nicely. So I'm thinking with this cold weather that's going to fall upon us three or four days I should be able to hopefully the fans the ventilation fans will be able to slow down I'll be able to slow down the ceiling fans and hopefully we're in for a stretch of nice cold weather and allow these hives to send themselves into a trance try to keep them as inactive as they could possibly be. There, they're not quite as excited. The big dive bomb last time was in the shed here. These, you know what? Take the plug out of this one. There's a chimney to help cool them down a bit. Maybe this is too much. I'll show you why I keep the caps in. So I have these hives sealed off. with the foamy and they have access out the entrance and what I think that does is it provides the ability for the bees to maintain 
the inside environment a lot easier. They can vent and fan or whatever they need to do there like they want. But the cluster as it holds, they're expelling heat, CO2, they're expelling moisture also, right? So that moisture that gets expelled off the cluster is invented out the front. But as that moisture is expelled, it comes in contact with the cooler box equipment itself. And in a sense, it will condense. And there's some right there. Just a very, very fine layer of moisture. I find the bees, actually if I go into the colony at their right time, I can see them actually consuming that condensation. It's almost like they're watering themselves. So that's why I keep everything sealed. Because I think that continual ingestion of water is important. I don't want it to be too humid. Otherwise I'll get mold form within the equipment. So I find keeping the entrance open, it uh, relieves all that issue. And I can tell if I have a humidity problem or if I fed my syrup too late and they haven't had it cured or it's, you know, just the conditions are warranting spoilage. You can see the front entrance you'll see the honey leak out and it's quite obvious it's the years that I get caught in the cold while I'm feeding or maybe the bees haven't had enough time to properly um, cap the honey on the exterior I think that humidity goes in because honey is hygroscopic and I think it it isn't good I think it either ferments or spoils or just allows the honey to drip onto the bottom board and onto the floor. I'm not seeing any of that right now. It's pretty early. Quite clean. They've had a lot of time to prepare the feed that I've provided for them. That's one of the issues with feeding late is you need to watch that they get it. See, so just a fine, fine ever, ever, ever so slight condensation. You see that? Just a very fine layer. So that'll be up on the foamy, that'll be within the equipment itself providing just that little bit of water I think they need. Don't you? But I also have the luxury of cold Canadian air coming in continuously, which in most cases, I would say, provides too dry of an environment for my hives. Hence the reason why I like to promote a little bit of condensation. So just keep that in the back of your mind. If it's very humid, then what I'd probably be doing is popping these corks out. And I think I'd, if I was having a problem, I'd see mold within the hives as they're coming out of winter. So then I'd have to increase the ventilation a little bit the easiest way to do that is just take these out. So that's what I do and I'm sticking to it. Oh, I need more space. quite comfortable and it's nice and quiet. There she is. 805. Good morning. 